Good morning, everybody. This is Gil, and uh, it looks like uh, a lot of the Senate and the House elections and governor's races are all coming to a close. Um, I was very, very, very behind, uh, in, or I was very involved, or not involved, but uh, interested in the um, race in Arizona, the governor's race that had uh, Katie Hobbs going against who I think is going to be um, or could have been a star in the Republican Party. Um, uh, what's, what's her name? Lake. Um, but then I started reading some things about Hobbs and they're accusing her of all kinds of things, especially racism, which is kind of crazy in my opinion, because there's just so many times. How many times can you just always throw the racism card? <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm on the road today, so I just had to cut this video. So three things to know about racial discrimination case involving Katie Hobbs, who is now the governor-elect of Arizona. So opponents of Democratic candidate for governor claim courtroom victory by fired African-American advisor has cost taxpayers millions. It hasn't. I got this from uh, a website. The author is Brom Resnick, so I want to make sure that I uh, give him a shout out. Katie Hobbs came under attack during the Democratic primary for governor over the firing of an African-American policy advisor back in 2015. The attacks have only intensified on social media, in particular during the general election campaign. But Hobbs' opponent, or opponents are now making false claims about convictions, criminal charges, and millions of dollars in payments by taxpayers. That's just something that happens on both fronts, whether it be Republican or Democrat. They just make tons of false claims. They talk about a lot of crazy things that just doesn't make sense. So here's a uh, background on the case. In early 2015, Katie House was a Democratic minority leader of the state Senate. She would be elected Secretary of State in 2018. Look, Talanya Adams a lawyer, was a policy advisor on the Democratic staff and the only African-American policy advisor at the Capitol. In February 2015, Adams was fired in part for protesting that she was paid less than her white colleagues. Was Hobbs convicted of a crime? Here's what Hobbs' Republican candidate, Republican opponent, Carrie Lake, who I really like, said on Newsmax recently. I think a lot of people don't realize that she's a twice convicted racist. Hobbs wasn't convicted of anything. No criminal charges were filed. Adams, acting as her own lawyer in federal court, would file and win two civil lawsuits alleging sex and racial discrimination. The lawsuits were filed against the Arizona State Senate. Uh, Hobbs was not named as a defendant. But Hobbs, as chief of staff, as well as the state Republicans' chief of staff, who oversaw the Senate operations, all testified against her. During the second trial, Hobbs testified she had lost trust in Adams, in part because of Adams' emergency leave of care for her son out of state. Um, many of the attacks on Hobbs, claim, on Hobbs claims that taxpayers have paid out millions of dollars as a result of a court judgment, which they haven't. The second jury awarded her $2.75 million in damages last year after finding Adams was a victim of racial and sexual discrimination, but they have not paid out. You see, that's the language that they want you to see. The attacks on Hobbs claim taxpayers have paid out millions of dollars as a result of a court judgment. That is the semantics that they play with us. All semantics have paid out millions. No, they have not paid out millions. They will eventually have to pay out millions, but she has not been paid out millions. So her, she was awarded $2.75 in damages last year, but under federal law, the damages award was capped at 300000 Adding in back pay and lost benefits, the judge ruled Adams was entitled to 353000 in damages. Almost a year after Adams was awarded damages and she got her job back, she has not received a dime. It's up to the Republican-controlled state senate to cut a check. So this is the battle. This is the, this is just a, the plain and simple fact of the matter is there's always these little battles going back and forth. Oh, excuse me. I'm working so hard lately. Um, and Hobbs has, has <clears throat> they haven't paid out the millions like they said they would uh, or like they are, they're claiming. Uh, the Senate spokesman, Kim Contero, told that... Uh, 12 News that it's working on how and when to proceed with the payment. Contero said the Senate was waiting to see whether Adams' compensation from the court might increase. Adams has been pursuing a larger damages award after the initial judgment in December of 2021. She hasn't filed any new court briefings since March of this year. Now, if Hobbs was not 
uh, guilty of anything, why did she issue an apology? That's the next step. So Hobbs issued an apology to Adams late last year in a campaign produced video. I apologize to Miss Adams, she said. I'm truly sorry for the real harm I caused Miss Adams and her family. Adams did not accept it. Her statement is not an apology, Adams said at the time. It's designed to get her over political hurdles. True. That is so true. So, my favorite girl, Miss Carrie Lake lost. My favorite woman, politician, Carrie Lake lost. Katie Hobbs is now in. That is a little update of what's going on when I heard about the racism charges that were being thrown. These are the facts from a local news, 12 News out of Arizona. So that is it as far as I can tell. Um, if there's anything else, I will have updates on it. This is Gil. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.